So I'm right now in the process of preparing tomorrow's live stream, which would be focused around the Drupal CMS launch, because as of this recording, it is the 14th of January. Tomorrow, the 15th of January, version one of Drupal CMS is being released. I've been playing around with the AI agents and I just have to show you how awesome it is because I'm shocked just how easy it is to use once it's set up, but the fact that it can literally build content types and fields. Let me show you. So here I've got a prompt. Now, to be fair, this prompt is pretty big. I've been playing around with it pretty much all day. But essentially what I want it to do is create a course system in Drupal. So we have a course content type and a lesson content type. And then of course the lesson content type points via an entity reference field to the course, okay? On top of that, I'm asking it to create a course category vocabulary and then also put in a course category field on the course content type. And then on the lesson content type, we have an a video field, which is a media entity reference field. So here you can kind of see it all written out. Now, if I copy all of this, because remember, you wanna be as specific as possible, especially with like the machine names and the field types. Now, if I chuck this into this AI chat right here, all right, it's gonna be a lot. So you can see there is a lot there. And let me just go ahead and click on whatever that button is. What is it, the play button? Now, this is RC version two of Drupal CMS. So I've just downloaded it, installed it, and playing around with it. Okay, it's still going. It's been going now for 20 seconds. Well, okay. Now, we finally got some feedback. You want to take note and actually read this because sometimes what I've noticed is that you will ask it to do something such as create a vocabulary and then it'll come back and ask for confirmation. And if you don't read it, you may not know that you have to actually tell it, yes, please go ahead. So you want to come in here and read it, make sure everything is there. Okay, this kind of looks like everything is good. Let's open up this new tab. Let's go into lesson. Okay, there are a few warnings, that's all right. But if we go to structure, content types, we have course, and let's click on manage fields. Now, the AI agent created this for us. I didn't create it, okay? I did not create the content type or the fields. It's gone ahead and created the course category and description with the correct machine names, which is important. Now, if we go into structure, let's go to structure, Taxonomy, we have course category with our categories. It actually creates the terms for you. Then if we go back here and go to lesson, it's created our description and also lesson. Now, did I add in something else? Okay, no, title is already added, that's fine. All right, now let's just quickly test this out. If I go into here, and type in how to use Drupal. And this will be, what is it? Drupal category. And we click on save, okay? Now, I should be able to go to lesson, how to install Drupal. Oh, we do not have, did I put that in? No, I did not put in an actual entity reference field back to the course. Let's actually fix it up right now. Can you create an entity reference field on the lesson content type called field underscore lesson underscore course, which references the course content type? All right, so can you create an entity refer reference field on the course on lesson called, uh, now, oh, let's just fix this up. Well, actually, let's just remove it this way, which references the course content type. All right, let's, let's test this out. All right. Entity has been successfully created. All right, now, if I just refresh, there we go. <laughs> the course is right there. And it's there. I literally just refreshed. There was no editing. How to install Drupal. 
Oh, the have to select a better media. All right, let's go one step further before we finish up. On the lesson content type, can you change the widget on the video field to use the media library widget? Okay, so on the lesson content type, can you change the field widget on the video field to use the media widget? All right, All right that did work. So if I just refresh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, all right, well, I'm going to be out of a job soon. This AI agent will be able to build out Drupal sites. Now, version one of Drupal CMS will be released tomorrow, January the 15th, but you can install all of this stuff on a standard Drupal site. Just download and install the AI suite of modules.